I think we are late to the game. I think it's a, a particular problem that once plastic is in the environment, it is very expensive and difficult to, to clean it up. Uh, so it is important that we, as quickly as possible, uh, manage to reduce the plastic pollution, eventually eliminate it, make sure no plastic le leaks into environment. And the best way to do that is to design products for being reused and, and stop that overproduction and consumption of, uh, in particular, singular uh, single-use products and, um, uh, and other high-risk and harmful plastic products. I think that uh, the development of a new treaty is uh, a once in a generation opportunity of solving this problem at a global scale. Negotiators are still early in the process. They uh, are then now uh, after the Paris meeting working on a draft treaty. So the actual negotiations for the treaty will end uh, in 2024. If that treaty is to succeed, it needs to include uh, common, harmonized global rules and regulations on which type of plastic products uh, we uh, can use uh, and which materials they will be and make sure that products are then designed for being reused and not for being thrown into the environment. Yes, I think it's uh, uh, it was quite tough negotiations in Paris, um, and I think uh, uh, there are different states are at, are at different stages when it comes to how ready they are to to commit to uh, a global joint approach. I think that the treaty needs to uh, focus on the areas where it makes particularly sense to harmonize, harmonize rules and regulations across states. And uh, we believe that it is in fact not possible uh, to get out of this problem if we don't have uh, common rules and regulations. On the other hand, it will also be a big benefit uh, to all countries if this is tackled in a joint manner. It will be easier to implement policies at the national level if all your neighboring countries are doing the same and sending that signal to business. Uh, and it will create actually new market opportunities in a more sustainable and circular economy uh, than what we're seeing today.